Assalam o Alaikum Grade One and welcome to your Social Studies class. In today's class, we will be discussing a new topic that is different seasons in Pakistan. Okay, so um, in yesterday's class, we uh, talked about different types of landforms, right? So tell me what um what is the difference between a hill and a mountain? Yes, who is going to tell me the difference between a hill and a mountain? Okay, yes, Sara. Excellent. Now tell me what type of area is called as valley? Yes. Very well done, Ahmed. And what type of area we call as a desert? Very well done. So uh, we also we talked about different types of landforms, and besides discussing that, we also discussed different types of seasons that are usually there in those landforms, right? Uh, or what type of um, season is that a type of landform fit for? So in today's class, we will particularly talk about different seasons in Pakistan. What are the fruits that we found in that season, or what are the field crops that we grow in that season? What type of clothes we wear? What type of temperature is there in that season? Right. So we will discuss all of these things. So um, before discussing the topic, um, let's discuss this in that way. That tell me in which season is your birthday? Okay. Tell me one by one. Yes, in which season is your birthday? So let's start with Ali. Yes, Ali. It's in summer. Okay. So how do you celebrate your birthday in summer? What type of season is it? It's very hot. So how do you celebrate your birthday? Usually in the garden, right? Okay. At which time? Daytime or in, uh, in evening? Evening time, okay. So, uh, do you guys prefer um partying inside or outside? Outside, okay. What else? What type of clothes do you wear? Light cotton clothes, excellent. See, all of these things have explained the type of season which it is. That if we talk about summer season, so in summer we wear light clothes because it's very hot season and people prefer sitting outside usually in the evening time because um. In daytime, it's very hot there. It's very sunny, so you cannot go outside. You cannot enjoy. So people prefer uh, parties in the evening outside in the garden. Gardens, right? Okay. And what type of clothes we wear? We wear light clothes. So okay. First, tell me how many seasons do we have? Is it six? No. Then how many? Four. Excellent. And what are they? Yes. What are the names of the seasons? Summer. Winter, spring, and autumn. Excellent, right? So we have already discussed that someone have if someone have their birthday in summer, he discussed all of the points that what type of season it is. Now tell me how many of you have your birthdays in winter? Okay, so tell me, Elise, what type of clothes do you wear in that season? We we don't prefer wearing light clothes in winter, right? Okay, so you do wear um high boots, socks, overcoats, right? Caps. Okay. Do you prefer a uh, parting in your um garden or inside? Inside. Okay. So what type of season it is? It's very cold. Okay. Now tell me about the trees as well. Do you find um uh, uh, more leaves or more fruits on the trees in winter? No, okay. So, uh, see from this description, we also get the idea about winter season. Now, let's talk about spring and autumn. How many of you have your birthdays in spring and autumn? Spring. Okay, tell me when. Which are what are the months that come under the heading of spring? Usually March and April or February and March, right? Because in February the the, the flowers start blossoming. Okay, so. That we find a lot of freshness around us, we can easily enjoy in the garden because there are a lot of flowers. There is a lot of greenery. You can easily party there. Similarly, uh, people do wear light clothes. They are not too much. Um, it's not uh, the season is not too much cold, so you can easily wear some light clothes. You can wear some fresh colors. You can enjoy the um in your garden, and you can have the lovely decorations as well with the fresh flowers, right? Because it's spring season, and in autumn we do not find any leaves on our trees, and we prefer 
the party is in the garden yes but what you can do you can do some lightning some fairy lights to cover the area okay so let's watch an interesting video related to the seasons and then we will um discuss the the what type of temperature is it in different seasons and all other things in detail okay so let's start with let, let's first watch an interesting video i'm going to share the screen with you let me know if it is visible to you or not okay yes show me a thumbs up excellent hello kids let's learn about the seasons the seasons that change every few months the first season the year starts with winters winter snow and cold weather with different kind of fun in the snow then arrives the spring with a lot of flowers everywhere things start to grow birds on the trees very green season then comes the summer the sunny bright summer with a lot of beaches a lot of vacations and a lot of fun it's hot then comes autumn almost at the end of the year where all the leaves and everything falls down there's a bit of rain to welcome winters okay so you have watched a video as well that gives you an idea more about different types of seasons so now um what we will be doing i'll be showing you a picture for that as well that what type of clothes do we wear what type of uh, okay let's first look at this picture this picture is about the type of uh, or the condition of trees and leaves in that season okay so in summer we have both flowers and leaves in winter we have nothing on the trees in spring the the, the flowers they are they start blossoming and in autumn the trees the color of the trees turns orange right because they are about to fall right okay now open your books page number uh, 24 we will be doing the exercise of this uh, topic as well we will finish this topic and from tomorrow's in class inshallah we will be starting with a new topic okay so write the name of the correct landform below each picture you have already discussed the different types of landform look at the landforms and tell me which type of landform it is look at the first one which type of landform it is they are hills excellent now look at the next one The cactus is grown. There is a lot of sand over there and camels as well. So these indications are for deserts. Excellent. Then there is this beautiful lake between the hills. What type of land it is? It's a valley. Excellent. Then look at the next one. The D. There are big mountains which are covered with snow. So mountains. And the last one. There are clouds and some trees as well what type of land it is they are hills excellent now let's look at the next question write the name of the correct landform next to each clue the clues are given to you and you are supposed to write the name of correct landform food crops are grown here in which um la landform we are we supposed to uh, grow a uh, uh, crops yes hurry up do we grow uh, food crops in deserts no do we grow them in valleys? No. Okay. Do we grow them in plains? Yes. Excellent. Look at the next one. They are rounded in shape. Which uh, type of landforms are rounded in shape? Yes. Do memorize. Hurry up. Which were Okay. Turn the page. Look at the shapes of all, of all types of landforms and tell me which are rounded in shape. Yes. Are mountains rounded? 
no okay are hills rounded yes excellent okay now the next question is very little rainfall in this place yes which in which type of land form we have very little rainfall yes in deserts because they are very dry areas right okay and this is the area between hills or mountains this is a valley excellent okay and then uh, the next question is very interesting this is that write a clue like those given above for mountains right uh, in the in uh, above question they gave you some clue and you were supposed to uh, guess the name of the land form now you are supposed to write a clue for mountain let's say if somebody if you want somebody to guess a land form what type of clue would you give for a mountain yes mountain okay tell me are hills high in peak or mountains high peaks so you can call it as some high peak areas right okay turn the page the next question is write the names of the landforms you have seen whatever landforms have you ever visited a desert have you ever visited a valley a mountain hill what type whatever type you have visited write their names the second is write the names that you have not seen or you want to see in future okay and the third is this is your home assignment that you are supposed to find the picture of a landform from any magazine from any newspaper you can download or uh, download it from google as well and then paste it on your book over here this is your home assignment okay okay class so that was all for today hope you guys enjoyed the class see you in the next lesson do share this video with others take care allah hafiz